Hello fellow developers, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome to this video where we're going to explore the HTML5 canvas. Now the HTML5 canvas element is um, a, well, HTML5 canvas as what you do with a canvas in real life, you draw on the canvas and what you do in a HTML5 canvas, you draw on it. So you can draw lines, circles, square, you can even draw images to this canvas. Now in this video, we're going to specifically look at the very basics. So this is going to be a super friendly starting off video hopefully and I hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are using CodePen right now. Um, what CodePen does allow you to write HTML, CSS and JavaScript in your browser and see it live in this little view over here. So we can say hello and when we hit save, it's going to write hello over on the right. So now with Canvas, obviously we need to, we need to create a Canvas element. We need to give it an ID so we can grab it in JavaScript and say, we'll call this one the sandbox because in theory, we're basically creating a sandbox. Now we can define a width on this. We're gonna just say 600 and I'm gonna design a height of 400 to give a nice little rectangle shape. Um, and in our CSS here, let's just quickly say canvas Oh, border one pixel solid um sir, sir, sir. there we go so we've got a little border around this element um which you can see actually let's give it a bit thicker let's make it three pixels i want to make it so you can see the edges quite clearly um okay guys so let's carry on um so now we need to get a reference to our um canvas element inside of our javascript god let me slide this up i want to make it into there we go and let's make this even better for us to read i just want to i want everything to be visible on screen so you guys can follow along pretty easily so let's go here so let's create so let's do a constant of can't called canvas a constant is an element that cannot be changed in javascript you define it once and that is it so we're going to say canvas is equal to document and document is equal to the dom which is this ele element here this area is just anything inside your html so we're going to say document dot get element by id so this allows us to grab an element by its ID and we're going to grab the sandbox element, which is going to be our canvas. So if we now say canvas.style.background is equal to red, hit save. There you go. You can see it's changed to red. So we know we've got our, canv our canvas element now um, over here. Now, if we say canvas.width, we can actually set this equal to the window dot inner width value, which is going to make it stretch the whole screen, as you can see there. Um, and we can also do the height, but we don't want to do that for now. We're going to keep it a white is just a 600 by 400. But to draw now, we need to be able to draw on the canvas. But before we can draw, we need to get a context if it's 2D, 3D, etc. So we're going to say const ctx which is going to be short for context and we're going to say it's equal to canvas dot get context 2d and that is going to get us our 2d drawing element so it's going to turn this into a 2d drawing pad now when you create a when you create anything on the canvas or the when you draw anything on the canvas we need to reference ctx so we need to say ctx now we can do something called begin path so we can start drawing lines on our path so let's we can move so there's actually a cursor on our um page and we can move it by saying ctx dot move to and it's going to move our cursor to a certain position so let's say 50 50 so we can't see anything happening right now but if we say ctx dot line to so we're going to draw a line from this where our cursor is to this element here so we're going to say 100, 100, hit save. And that's this point, nothing showing up. Why is that? So we've began our path. So we've began drawing a path. We've moved the cursor of the canvas to 50, 50. And our line two is 100, 100. So they're not the same place. 
what we need to do is say ctx.stroke. Now what this does is adds a stroke to the element. And as you can see, we now have a line. We can also now inside this say ctx.line2. So we can move it again and let's say 150 by 200. Hit save and you can see we've now drawn down there. And if we carry on, we can say ctx.line2. Um, 200 200 or maybe 200 or let's say yeah let's say 200 100 and that should bring it back up up the top there and let's now finally move it back to so we're at 200 that's fine we'll say 250 by 100 or 250 by 50 hit save and there you go we've got this little element now we can actually say ctx dot fill and what that's going to do is it's going to fill in the whole area so as you can see there it's filled the whole thing which is pretty cool right but what happens if we want to change the color of this so for starters, let's start. Let's go back to being just an outline with a stroke. What happens if we want this to be different? So we can say up here, ctx dot fill or stroke style, and we can set this equal to any sort of value, RGBA hex, and in this case, I'm just going to say red. You hit save, and as you can see, the stroke is now red. What happens if we fill it again? Ctx dot fill. As you can see, it's still got a black fill. That's because it's a different property. We need to say ctx.fill style is equal to, let's say, blue. When we hit save, it's blue. So we have a red stroke and a blue, um, a blue fill. We can also increase the stroke width. So it's not stroke width, it's actually line, oh, line width, that's, that's new and there we go we can I think it we can do it as normal number two yes there you go so now let's undo that and let's fill it back in with blue and there you go we've got thingy you can see it's filling from the center if you've ever used some like something like illustrator and you've used the pen tool you can kind of see what's happening here and this is kind of that but let's comment this out let's say what happens if we want to draw on the page a perfect square we can say ctx dot begin path we do this so it doesn't interact with the previous path you can also say ctx dot close path um, but we won't get into that just yet and now we can say ctf dot rect and what rect stands for is obviously rectangle and we can give this an x a y a width and a height so let's go here and let's say rectangle we're going to say at 200 we're going to go to 200 and we're going to say it's 100 by 100 we hit save nothing happens you can guess it but all we need to do is say ctx.fill and we get a square if we change this to stroke you'll see we get a an outline awesome so you can see kind of what's happening here again we can say ctx dot stroke or actually we'll say line width equal to five and we've got a thicker square and we can say ctx dot um stroke style is equal to let's give it a hex value of zero zero f four nine four there you go, we've got this nice really light green, it might be a bit hard, let's say 001E46, hit save and we've got a nice navy blue. So you can change this around style up, try how you want, we can say RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.2 and it's going to give us a semi-transparent -tran, um, object. What happens if we combine this by copying another, creating a new path, give this a line width of 10 let's say this and we want 250 by 250 but we want it to actually be one bam you'll see it's now appeared right there and there's two squares on the screen so 
we can change this back to five and let's say we want this to be red. And as you can see, it's now red and you can see the overlapping um, opacity of the other one, which is pretty cool. So that's another thing we can do with this canvas. Now we can also draw, let's actually bring back in this. So we'll see that being drawn up there. Let's now draw a circle. So with this, we can say begin path and we can say CTX dot line width. Let's give it a line width of 10. We're going to say CTX dot stroke um, style equal to green and CTX dot fill style equal to um, let's maybe say royal blue. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that works. We'll say CTX the arc. Now an arc is how you draw a circle. You give it a X. So we're going to say X of 300, a Y we'll say 100. We give it a radius. So instead of giving it a width and a height, we give it a radius, which we're going to say 30 pixels. And then we give it, we've got to say where we start the angle from. So we're going to start the angle from zero. And then we're going to, we're going to make, we're going to basically say where it finishes. And we're going to say math.pi times two. And now if we say ctx.fill, you see we get a little circle up here. Now if we say ctx.stroke, you can see we get a nice little circle thing up here. We can kind of create, if we wanted to, we could create like a, a dartboard or something. <laughs> Again, right now you're probably just seeing me draw shapes on the screen, which isn't kind of fun. In the next video, we're going to go over something a bit more advanced. We're going to go over animating things, like moving things around on in a CSS or HTML5 canvas using javascript to move the objects around so we'll basically be able to move this from here all the way over here maybe down there move that over there animating around and then if we have time we'll also do it so it bounces off the walls and it continuously bounces around the um the wall so and one example of this is my own current website my landing page you'll see i've got loads of little items which are moving around and as they hit the top of things or the bottom of things they will bounce and turn around and they'll bounce in different positions just all over the place so that is one example of what we're going to be doing in this video after after that video if you guys enjoyed the two basic html5 tutorials we'll then do some more advanced stuff where we can bounce them off the cursor or animate interact with them using the mouse so maybe one will follow the mouse we can have items follow the mouse around or stuff like that so let me know if you enjoyed this video if you did leave a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments and as usual if this video helped you out you liked it or anything like that and you want to see more hit that subscribe button um, hit the notification bell to know as soon as a new video goes live and that's it from me folks so i hope you enjoyed the video and peace out always do it on my own so i gotta get through it and the only thing i know is to love what i'm doing never give up never slow till i finally prove it never listen to the nose i just want to keep moving keep my head up when i act head up that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track